Well, we have worked our way through an incredible day of USF Pro Championships action. Obviously, we've seen a ton in terms of the Indy Next Series and the IndyCar program as well. Some exciting qualifying sessions for both of those programs ahead of what will be great races tomorrow. We have drivers on the racetrack to cap things off for USF Pro 2000, their doubleheader here this weekend. And let's jump right into the starting lineup here as we're pushing this race a little early uh, as we've got lots of fans still around the racetrack. Let's have a look at the 20 from Mexico in the number 10. Row 9 will have Ricardo Escoto for BN Racing in 18th position. Did a couple of next races this year as well. Escoto uh, starting in the 18th spot as the engine's coming to life down on pit lane. Alongside him, Braden Eves in what will be his final race. Former multi-time USF 2000 race winner, Jace Denmark on the outside. Field set coming to the line. Green, 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 and a fantastic start for Sykes as well for Lockie Hughes as Hughes will try to roll in around him. Not quite enough, and wow, Jace Denmark comes across the bow from left or right to left rather to hold the spot. Everybody clean and green through turn number one, and Simon Sykes, who won here last year in USF 2000 competition, leads the way into the keyhole for the first time. Three wide further back. Someone try on the outside line to see if it'll work, and it actually might have. That is one of the BN races. So the leader's coming out, Sykes, Denmark. You'll see Johnson, and then expect to see in a couple of corners here, a couple drivers get together. Here comes the two cars. This is side-by-side, -side. Skeets alongside. Oh, okay. So actually coming through the corner there, I don't, I'm thinking there's got to be some kind of contact, John, sure. but very quickly, uh, Brooks, uh, Lockie Hughes, somehow Nikita Johnson, obviously Nikita's the leader coming through. What happens coming through here? I want to say Lockie Hughes may have pushed out a little bit and got into the side of Simon Sykes, and Sykes went, goes to the uh, grass. Brooks makes contact with uh, Hughes, and they roll through. De niggling issues that you have in any kind of new car, uh, that those pesky little problems, with electrical, whatever it may be, they got through all of that over the last two days and try to see if they can't come through cleanly here with a solid result. He was 10th on pace in race number one. Logan Adams with the issues now running in the third position. A get through. What a beautiful pass for Dershelski as he gets by, and Eves is going to stick his nose in, coming through as well, and there's going to be contact there. Around goes Baptiste. He opened the door to the inside of the carousel, and that is a, that's an old-school move when a driver opens things up. Uh, coming through the carousel as we have a, a front wing sitting on the front straightaway just on the other start of the start finish. Braden Eves is slowing coming out of turn number one. Second spot just didn't have point enough to get by. I guarantee you Jason has had his legs. I got to get by. I got to go to P1 here. I got to hold this kid back. Same goes with uh, Logan Adams. He's watching here as the battle uh, ensues between he and uh, Dyshelski. Further back, some wild racing with the Tulio, Clark, and Escoto. As uh, I believe Clark, yeah, Clark, I think just got by Escoto, so we put Clark between the two BN cars to Tulio and Escoto for sixth, seventh, and eighth. On That's Ethan Ho, speed cars, on yeah. Ethan Ho, side by side coming <laughs> down the hill uh, through uh, turn two, the keyhole. This is Dushelski pulling away from Adams, who's really pushed his braking zones. And there's a move to the inside as well. Sykes, oh, Escoto slams the door coming into turn number uh, five or four rather, pinches it, comes from drivers left to right across the bow, hardcore, as Sykes was looking to dive it down to the apex. There's that fight continuing, and Becklin gets it done. Cooper Becklin able to get around Ethan Ho, now up into the 12th spot, so are dominating the action. Let's get back to this fight. Dzielski's gonna get third, Adams is gonna get fourth, but we're not done yet. Do we have any fireworks to cap off the day over in the carousel? I think it's Goto good. He'll dive in the corner up to get a better run out of turn number 11 through 12 and 13. And indeed, Ricardo Escoto going to hold on for that position. P5. Listen, I can't disagree with the guy. It's uh, At this point, it's a lucky mustache. He may hold on to it for a while. We'll see. I think it's horrible. But... Uh, <laughs> You, you obviously don't like facial hair. Well, I can't grow any. That's probably why it is. <laughs> Do not mess with his streak. This guy is pumped. Nikita Johnson does it again. A flawless performance chased all the way by another flawless performance. Chase Denmark. There's his dad, Obi Johnson, in there as well. Dan Team Mitchell. owner Dan Mitchell, of course. Uh, keep bringing him over to run uh, in Europe in GB3 as well. That's a big Jacob weekend Loomis. for BRD. Yeah. Jacob Loomis and Max Taylor yeah, with yeah. a couple of victories on front. Uh, all race long for that fourth place finish. Ricardo Escoto also did a great job of defensive driving, maintaining that fifth place finish.